Hi, everyone. This is Steve Zaskowski. I'm the founder of CirrusNet, and I'm very excited to announce something called the CirrusNet Success Series. Very excited about this. Uh, I've partnered with three extremely gifted and talented professional trainers, uh, and they are Denise Roberts from Playing to Win Teams, Jason Tracy from Roar Consulting. Of course, you know him from the Coffee and Grit podcast too, right? And then Wendy Caverly, she's with Crusaders Networking. She helps people really capture the essence of one-to-one -one messaging, one-to-one -one relationship building, and she's also a CirrusNet facilitator. So I partnered with three extremely qualified and successful professionals to offer CirrusNet members deeper dives into other areas of their business, which ultimately will make the people that are a part of these courses much more successful. So the purpose of today's recording is just to give everybody that's watching a short glimpse of what it is we're going to be offering and to be on the lookout for this stuff right after Referraltopia. So Denise Roberts, would you mind kind of leading it off for us? Of course, of course. So um, I went to Steve with this idea and I said, hey, I think we've got a lot of talent inside of SiriusNet and we've got things that could help them. And are you open to this idea? And Steve said, of course. So each of us have our own area of expertise. Mine is in uh, resiliency training, helping you not let doubt take you out because it's predictable no matter what you go for. No matter how much you want something, it is predictable that obstacles will get in your way. And it's how do I address those? Because do I let them, uh, I can start with doubt starts to creep in. I can be, uh, I can avoid things. I can hesitate or I can push through this. So that's our concept in Unstoppable. We're going to talk about why it's predictable that you will get stopped. We're going to give you three strategies of what to do when you do get stopped. And then we're going to give you five things to do to keep the momentum going. So that's what Unstoppable is all about. So that's me. Oh, I love that because, you know, we've seen so many people give up perhaps, and they could have just used a little adjustment, just a, a new way to frame things, a little, little greater emotional intelligence to kind of get to that next level. That's awesome. Jason Tracy, how about yourself? What is up? So what I love about this collaboration so much is how we all really tie in together. And if you go take mm -hmm. all three programs, you're really going to come out this other side, unstoppable, as Denise says. But talking about doubt, the next step in, in what I'll be talking about is overcoming objections. And we all get them, right? I've worked with salespeople for over 25 years of my career. And it's funny, whenever I've sat down with people and start talking about, they, they give me these five common objections that they get when they make calls or in their, they're in sales interactions, but they never intentionally plan on how to overcome them. What we're going to do in our course is really dive in and I'm going to give you the strategies and the framework to be able to overcome those objections far before you get them. Because if, you, if you're asking, how do I overcome this objection after you've already got it, you've already lost. And so let's prepare to win and let's be intentional. It's almost like the art of war in business, right? It's like knowing what your opponent's going to do five, six steps step, step ahead. Uh, and I also loved in the recent Coffee and Grit podcast, Jason, you were talking about, you know, how important it is to notice interactions, notice what's going on with people you're presenting to, yeah. especially after you pitch your price and you're like, hey, I noticed all of a sudden you got a little stiff when I presented that. What was that? We're going to talk about stuff that you don't hear from very often, how to read that body language. We all see it, right? When you get that, when you're going through something and you see somebody roll their eye or they make an eye or what do you do next in order to tackle that objection before you even get it or stop the, I'll go think about it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Fantastic. I'm loving what I'm hearing so far. And let's jump over to Wendy Caverly with Crusaders. Wendy, what's going to be on your docket? Oh, mine is going to be the beginning of it all, that effective self-introduction. You don't get to have a conversation if you can't effectively introduce yourself. And inside the SiriusNet system, we refer to those as your member minutes. So my workshop is actually being titled Not Your Mama's Member Minute because... <laughs> Because the goal is to give you a reusable, repeatable structure 
from 10 seconds to two minutes. So you can effectively introduce yourself in a multitude of business environments by already having pre-planned your Lego pieces. Um, so you can plug and play to attract the room, to attract the people you wanna to speak to, and for those who have been with Seriousnet a long time, it helps you feel that you are not being repetitive or boring. You will learn how to say the exact same thing 15 different ways. So it's, it's effective, it's intentional, it's structured, it gives you confidence, it gives you control, and that is what attracts people to you, your effective self-introduction. What a gift. Yeah. You know, repetition mm -hmm. is the mother of all learning, but learning how to say the same thing just slightly differently is going to register with people differently as well, too. And I really like that, Wendy, mm -hmm. because as my year advances on with my teams, some of the meetings that I'm going to run, we're going to be practicing 15 and 30 mm -hmm. second introductions or member minutes. So we can also be doing some breakout sessions and some other things. So this is really timely. Yes. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I've, I've done this for a long time with my people. If you met my people at the breakfast last year, um, they killed it because they prepared. Oh, this is so fantastic. Um, SiriusNet Success Series. Thank you so much, Denise, Jason, Wendy, for being a part of this. I know we're going to be nothing but a stronger, more profitable network. And that's what SiriusNet's all about. It's here to support our members. We care nothing. Uh, we care... But I want to put it, no, there's nothing we care about more <laughs> than your success. And we do care. Yes. <laughs> okay, you yes, guys are awesome. Do. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to hearing results from the upcoming Cirrus Net Success Series.